Wyman Jung is a business school professor who specializes in logistics and e-commerce. He says Hong Kong's logistics industry has been stable for the past five years, at around 3.3 percent of total GDP. In the offline and online era, Hong Kong's free trade port status is an asset. That's a tremendous advantage for logistic processes. If I need a warehouse for merchandise without uh, knowing where eventually it's shipped to, I come to Hong Kong. I do, I, it's not an, an import. I don't need to pay tax, just temporarily store it in Hong Kong. When I get an online order, I ship it out. Probably what we're going to do is ship part of these goods back to Portugal. Anderson Benjamin manages logistics for a Portuguese fashion brand. It has 600 stores in Europe and the Middle East and wants to break into the China market by selling products online. The inventory is stored in Hong Kong. We are right next to the China customers. So our time, our time of delivery is short a lot comparing if we use our central DC in Europe. He partnered with a logistics company to run the offline operations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so is there a need to shift a bit more aisles so that uh, Apart will have more space on the, these yeah. aisles over here? Yeah, so Polly Heiss is in charge of business development for the logistics arm of homegrown supply chain company Li and Fong. China is the largest and fastest growing e-commerce market in the world and we have pivoted over the years mm -hmm. to ride on this growth uh, with our e-commerce service offerings. So just in 2010, we serve one brand in e-commerce fulfillment. Um, now we do over 40 brands, international brands. It has six distribution centers in Hong Kong. This warehouse in Kwai Chung houses the inventory for an American apparel brand. Products are sent to e-shoppers, retail stores and wholesale channels. There is uh, no double handling of two inventories for the brick and mortar as well as for the e-commerce channels. So for that reason, that's a key benefit. We use, or the brand uses, a single inventory serving two channels. In terms of uh, transferring the inventory from one channel to another, it's pretty sim seamless uh, through the system. The warehouse handles 12 million pieces of clothing a year. E-commerce deliveries were added in 2013. Why we do the last mile is just to offer the integrated solution to our customers from the time the order is being pack, pick, packed to the time the physical order um, or, or product is delivered to our end customers. I can see around 5 to 6 percent growth in the past two or three years in just the, the postal and, and courier sector okay. in terms of uh, employment. That uh, indicates to me it, it's the effect of the e-commerce. The Hong Kong logistics industry employs about 200,000 people. Picking and packing are some of the most important jobs in e-logistics, but employers have a difficult time finding enough warehouse operators because the industry isn't very attractive to young people. It's often viewed as unglamorous, uh, sweaty and, you know, hard work. Labor shortage is one limitation to the industry's growth. The other is a shortage of land. New e-commerce logistics needs new kind of uh, facilities, uh, usually very big facility and bigger area that requires some land. The government may have a solution in the not too distant future. It created a new land supply task force in September. It's exploring the development of agricultural brownfields for the city's housing and industrial needs, including the logistics sectors. And Professor Jung expects the labor shortage will be solved by automation in five years. The change also create high-end jobs in, in logistics in terms of how do you optimize the delivery. It will save a lot of time and cost. That is the kind of intellectual jobs that subsequently created because of uh, e-commerce in the logistic industry. So uh, we can see uh, in near future, we need uh, engineers and uh, good business uh, students uh, to be manager or even senior, senior managers to handle the high level uh, planning and strategic 